This is the atomic model. This isn't the atomic model. That's a triangle. What do you mean? I'll show you the rap way. Oh, so y'all want to learn about chemistry then? Yeah, yeah all right. Yeah, chemistry. Get yeah, some facts. Atoms. Chemistry. Atoms. Chemistry. MC Filthy. MCD. MC Nate. I'm about to teach y'all something about atoms, you know? All right. Yeah. The atomic yeah. model. Y'all want to learn about the atomic model then, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Democritus had the first theory of an atom. He was old. He said that atoms were indivisible or indestructible, or so he told. But his theory was incomplete. He didn't use a scientific theory, but his theory made everyone cheery. Check it. Um, he didn't have enough evidence to prove his statements. His theory needed some more maintenance. He said if you cut an apple into small pieces, you eventually have a small unit of matter. Democritus climbed up the philosopher's ladder. Uh, wait, one time. No chatter, no cheddar. My rhymes are about to get better. Democritus lived in ancient Greece before 60 BC to 370 BC, and he had a nice beard. He also had a real nice philosophical career. Check it. Mm. He also said that every single thing in this world is made of atoms, and that's pretty true. Just another reason that he's a real smart dude. Next up, what's up? It's my man, John Dalton. He out here in the science game, man. He was out there falling. His knowledge was magical like a fairy. He came up with the Dalton Atomic Theory. He took Democritus' theory and experimented with it, making it solid. Then he put his name in it, giving something to call it. His theory stated that all atoms of the element were identical. His way of testing it, you know what that was? Experimental. Experimental, yeah. He said that atoms of different elements can physically mix together and can chemically combine them to simple whole number ratios to form compounds. And I'm hot now. In addition to the atomic models that he said it was a tiny solid sphere, just another reason he had a successful scientific career. Mm. Don't get me started on my man JJ Thompson. He was another scientist out here balling. He was my man who discovered the electron. He said it was part of the atom, and that's something you can bet on. Then he put it in the plum pudding model. Wait a minute. Looky, looky, the plum model kind of look like a cookie. Like a cookie! He pictured electrons embedded in a sphere of positive charge. His understanding of the atom was pretty large. Do you get it now, teacher? I have the knowledge, but I don't know how to rap. Tell me. Just let it flow. Yo, thank you, Hansaro Nagoka, a Japanese physicist. physicist. He suggested that an atom had a central nucleus. It was central. He said electrons move in orbit like Saturn's rings. Ring. He's pretty smart for discovering these things. these things. Let's go back in time to that time of 1911. Time. This dude named Ruth IV had an important question. It was so important. He did some research and found out an atom's center is dense. dense. It's small and cool. And it's called the nucleus. It's called the nucleus. He said electrons move around quickly. They don't waddle. They don't waddle. All his research and ideas made the Ruth IV model. Ruth IV. After this in 1913 was Neil Bohr's model. Model. This made improving the atomic model a daughter. A daughter. In this model, the electron moved in a circular orbit. This knowledge is powerful. I hope you absorb it. Not only this, the model showed that electrons move at a fixed distances from the nucleus. Nucleus. <laughs> Uh oh, you thought we were done here? Not likely. Atomic model keeping on developing nicely. Flashback to a time that was 1923. There was a French physicist named Louis de Broglie. He said that the particles had a wave-like property. Experimented, got some evidence. Now that seems cool to me. Then again in 1926, new evidence. This one's a zinger. Come straight from the mouth of my man Erwin Schrodinger. He described the motions of atoms. With that, he didn't dawdle, and his theories and his work led to the electron cloud model. He wrote several books and put his theories in his pages. To prove his rad theory, he developed some equations. We're getting to the end, and we're almost done, too. Flashback to a time that's in 1932. There was an English physicist. His name was James Chadwick. He said the nucleus has neutrons and protons. That's atomic. Hey, you know neutrons? Yeah, he proved that those were real. What, he proved their existence? Yeah, that takes us some zeal. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. Time for a little summary to go over what we learned. First, we learned that Democritus created the first theory of an atom, stating that atoms couldn't be destroyed or divided. But, he didn't use the scientific method, so no one could take his ideas seriously. Next, Dalton used the scientific method to create Dalton's atomic theory detailed earlier in the song.
Thompson then discovered the electron and also created the plum pudding model. He imagined electrons embedded in a sphere of positive charge. Next, Hantaro Nagaoka proposed the idea of a central nucleus and electrons orbiting it. Then, Rutherford said that there were five positively charged particles in the nucleus. He made the Rutherford model and said that electrons orbit the nucleus. Next, Bohr said that electrons move at fixed distances from the nucleus. Then Bergoli said that particles have a wave-like property and used evidence to prove this. Next, Schrodinger used equations to define the motions of atoms. Then, finally, Chadwick proved the existence of neutrons and proved that the nucleus has neutrons and protons. Alright, that'll bring us to the end of our video. I hope that you had fun watching it, but most importantly, I hope that you learned something. Have a nice day.